Hey guys, it's Gamer Queen Jackie, and I'm here playing Kevin and the Infamous Machine. Um, I came across this on Steam. I think it was it's in beta. Maybe. I didn't. I, I don't remember because I I went and I got a bunch of games at the same time. Um, but it looked fun and it looked cool, and I think we're gonna we're gonna give it a play and see how it goes. So um, I'm gonna click play right now and select chapter okay fifth chapter one is named fifth okay it's supposed to be funny from what i gather so all right well, let's try the fifth the brilliant yet chron chronically overlooked Dr. Edwin Lupin culminates his l research into the nature of time itself helped by his dedicated assistant Lise and Kevin Lupin constructs the world's first functioning time machine. Awesome! Which, for complicated science reasons, looks exactly like a portable shower. Complicated. When the Science Journal publishes its list of the year's greatest inventions, the time machine is curiously absent. Oh wait, there it is! Winner of the Lamest Invention Award. What? Ridiculed for its appearance, the judges have dubbed it the infamous machine. Sweet. Dr. Lupin, of course, accepts the setback with grace and dignity. <laughs> For about two seconds, <laughs> that would be me. Driven in madness, he launches himself into the past, bent on stealing credit for humanity's greatest works. Oh, Lord. Can the bumbling Kevin, driven by a basic understanding of right and wrong, repair the unraveling timeline? Or will he totally blow it and doom the universe to oblivion? Oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Kevin follows Dr. Lupin to his first destination, 19th century Vienna, where the recently impaired Ludwig van Beethoven, and I didn't catch that. Holy crap, it's fast. <laughs> Vienna, 1804. <coughs> okay, cool. So this has something to do with Beethoven. I couldn't catch it all fast enough. You know... Uh, <laughs> woo! We got a full moon there. <laughs> yeah, it's a time machine, Kevin. There you go. Well, great. We're ten seconds in, and the game already has an 18-plus rating. <laughs> yes, it does. I forgot to put my headphones on. Here we go. Well, the water pressure was a little low for my taste, but... Kelvin, focus. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, looks like downtown somewhere. Uh, France, maybe? Okay, good. The system says you're actually in Austria. Austria? Boy, good time, Mike. <laughs> Austria, Kelvin, not Australia. And it's 1804. So, uh, why did Lupin come here? Likely he was after Beethoven. The dog! Oh, God. It's a 90s reference. Beethoven had just four symphonies before retiring in 1804. It's statistically improbable that a man of his genius would end his career so suddenly. Yikes. You're saying Lupin messed with Beethoven so he could write the rest of the symphonies himself? Exactly. You need to find Beethoven wow. and get him to write his fifth symphony. Got it. Jesus. So, uh, <laughs> what does the symphony sound like? Who knows? It's been erased from history. Uh, Kelvin? Oh lord. Press H for help. Should I do that now? Ah, moving around. Click over any place you'd like to explore to make Kevin Kelvin walk there. Interacting. Click over people or objects to interact with them. Collected objects will be saved in the inventory. Okay, pretty cut and dry. Inventory. Click over the backpack to open or close the inventory, then click over an object to select it. Use the magnifier to examine the selected object. To use an object selected from the inventory, point over the environment and then click where you want it to be used. Objects can be combined by selecting one of them from the inventory and then clicking over a second object. So we can combine objects. That's kind of important. H for help, I for inventory, F for hotspots, escape to quick. One, two, three to choose answer. Alrighty, so that's our inventory. Uh, light ball. It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. Okay. Just your everyday reinforced steel cone. Okay, sweet. Tomorrow night <coughs> only, Maestro Matthew S. Francis performs his celebrated yawning concerto. Huh. Wonder why Lupin skipped this guy. <laughs> mm, yawning. Um, I wanted to say too. Uh, 
you know, Doctor Who has a telephone box, so I don't know. What's the big deal with a shower? <laughs> oh my god, Kelvin. Reigning state trash ball champion right here. Oh, for flip's sake. Alright, let's talk to this bouncer dude. It's low night, huh? Right now, all the rich snobs are next door listening to the rich snob music. That's who drinks here? Rich snobs? Everybody in there is either a rich snob or knows a rich snob. Them's the rules. Uh, any crazy eyed scientists come through here lately? Can I go inside? Do you know if Beethoven is in there? Hmm. Well, we're focused on finding Beethoven, so I'm going to ask you know Beethoven about Beethoven. Oh. Ludwig van Beethoven, the legendary composer. What's he look like? Crazy hairdo, death glare, kind of hard of hearing. Oh, the deaf guy. Yeah, he's in there. Looked real annoyed about something when he came in. Uh oh. Can I go inside? Hmm. No. Why not? This joint has a strict dress code. It does. But you're yeah. the old tank top. Do I look like I'm inside? That's fair enough, Touché, I suppose. Bouncer. Yeah. Uh. Let's see, can I, so can I go in if I find fancier clothes? I know the owner. So do we lie? I don't know. I kind of want to do it the, like, honorable way. So I can go in if I find fancier clothes? Hmm, nope. Yeah. What else is the matter? You don't look old enough to drink. That's just because I moisturize. Likely story. What year were you born? 2000 and, uh, uh, I mean, uh... Nice try, kid. Go play at the carnival or something. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, all right, we'll get the. the owner, pal. If you don't let me in right we'll now, lie. I'll get lie through our teeth. Yeah. What's his name? His shit. name? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that sounds Glenn. Austrian. <laughs> Glenn Hunt. Sorry, buddy. Glenn Hunt sold this joint about a month. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's impressive. Mm, all right, I guess. Crazy-eyed scientists come through here lately? You kidding? This is Vienna. It's all crazy. Yeah. Crazy -eyed I was just going to say that. How about like a really small crazy-eyed weirdo? Sorry, kid. Pretty much everybody looks small to me. Now all on. right. Damn it. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be here. All right, well. Free parking? What a bargain. <laughs> yeah, uh... I'm no buggy expert, but whoever owns this one can definitely afford to pay for parking. Probably. All right, I think there was an alley back here. Um, I mean, I don't think I ha Do I have anything in my... Yeah. All right, let's go behind the alley. Double click for instant access. I think I hear something moving around in there. Hey. All right, let's talk to this guy, Lord of the Ring Toss. Hey, little boy, are you talking to me? Yeah. Well, Sonny. Dude, I'm 26. Well, don't you have quite the imagination? Are you serious? I'm. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the Ring Toss? Indeed it is. Oh, boy, well, everybody looked older then. So. Oh, of course, Sonny. If you've got a few coins to spare. Oh, man, it's yeah, I don't think I do. Let's ask him about the vase. What's with the creepy vase over there? Oh, that it belongs to the ah! uh, so see on break. I'm afraid he's in the hospital. Ah! He had a touch too much of the drink and tried charming the flute by playing the cobra. Oops. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do I get if I win? Yeah. Tonight's prize. Is a ticket to the acclaimed Vienna Symphony. Shit. Whoa, fancy. You bet your bottom. So I need this then. Could I play just once without paying? Where I'm from, they let you play a little for free, and then suddenly you can't stop. I'm afraid not, lad. Portly carnival workers need to eat too. You understand? I do understand. All right. Well. W Bye, ring toss, dude. Come back anytime. <laughs> We'll see what else is going on. Cool. Oh, it's busted. Uh, wasn't there something behind here? Maybe? A dollar sign. Oh, hey, we picked it up. Cool. Alright. 
that mole has seen some things. Or not seen some things, as the case may be. Whoa. Are you a fortune teller? You got it. Fortunes, divinations, and prophetic prognostications. Only thing I don't do is palm reading. <laughs> oh, or refunds. Could you tell my fortune? Because that's quack, right? <laughs> oh, wish I could. But a dark and terrible evil has rendered me powerless. Like the drink? A ghost is draining you of your spiritual aura? Nah, some jerk tourists ran off with my crystal ball. <laughs> Didn't of course. see that coming, did you? What can I say? Divination is a mysterious and fecal craft. <laughs> Lordy. Come on, can't you do a really basic fortune without your crystal ball? Have you seen visions? Any well, let's ask her about Beethoven. Any idea where I could find Beethoven? Is that a three? Oh lordy. I'm gonna take that as a no. Yeah. Come on, can't you do a really basic fortune without your crystal? Yeah. I don't know. Can you build a really basic castle without any rocks? It's fair enough. Point taken. Mm-hmm. Have you seen visions of what the world will be like in two hundred years? Sure have. Crazy place. Mm. Mechanical carriages speed around without needing horses to pull them. There's all sorts of delicious sugary foods, but people can't <laughs> Can we stop with the oh, kale propaganda? <laughs> has a magic rectangle that they use to send each other pictures of their privates. Yep. Wow, you're good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. See you later. Yeah. Pre pretty much. Your life. That's funny. Huh. Looks like I just missed the rainstorm. Uh, okay. All right, now what? So we talked to her. I don't think it'll be the same. Yeah. See you later. I know. If there's anything else I can click on. Ring toss. Sounds fun. More fun than a warehouse full of barley, my boy. Come on up and try your luck. Uh, can we? Would that work? This is for setting prices, not paying for stuff. Ah. Well, flip. Okay. I think I hear something. Yes, we know. All right, so what do I do? What do I do? Oh, I can go to the lobby. <laughs> that would be helpful. I was like, where else do I go? Okay. Candlestick. Those candles are really stuck in there. They like to do things sturdy. Yep, it's uh, an emergency bottle of water. <sighs> it's a shamelessly anachronistic gumball machine. That looks like the scientist dude. Wow, they really captured his creepy overcaffeinated essence. Have some respect. Lupin is the greatest genius in history. Whatever. I once saw him try to eat a burrito like it was corn on the cob. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Classy. Okay, take it. Put that back. God damn it. Okay, <laughs> uh, take that. Whoa, a Stradivarius. That's like the Stradivarius of violins. Really? Uh, okay. All right, well, let's talk to this dude. Is there a concert going on in there? There is. Can I go in? You cannot. Tickets are sold out. How do you know I don't have a ticket? <laughs> Call it a hunch. Well, you guys are be being very Lovely evening, isn't it? unhelpful. Mm -hmm. Ah, cool, crisp air. A million stars in the sky. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's all enough to make you wanna let somebody into a concert. Yeah. Right. Wrong. Bugger. Oh, you need to let me through. I'm in the orchestra and I'm late. Oh, is that right? What instrument do you play? The uh the the harpsichord. Ah, the harpsichord. <laughs> is a cool instrument. instrument. Yes, the wonderful list. Oh, he. Ah, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> what does the harpsichord look like? Oh, it's beautiful. It's mostly green and hairy. 
Yeah. Hairy. Like a moldy avocado. Mm. And when you blow into it, it sounds like an old moose. Sounds like a bagpipe. <laughs> Please, stop <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. Unless you have a ticket, we've nothing. Ah, uh, bugger! Come on. Ticketed patrons only. Thank you. Ugh. I just want to look at things. Ticketed patrons only. Uh, Thank you. That's. It's titled "Lord Sebastian Tiger in a Staring Contest with a Mirror." Legend has it he won. How could he win? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, is there anything else I can click on in here? Crap, now what? I didn't click on the spotlight. Get away. Nope. <coughs> nice. Who needs video games? Uh, you're in a video game? <coughs> oh, no. Now what? Would you let me in? I wonder, can I use whatever that is? Something? Back. Uh, what do you want me to do with that? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, can I use it here? Oh, oh, oh. You expect me to pay just to park here? Yep. Think of it as a parking <coughs> here says, I have so much money I wasted on parking for no reason. That is brilliant. <laughs> of course it is. Did he give me a dollar? Hey. Nice. So, so did we get some money? Yes! All right. Okay. All right. Figured this out. Sorry, I just put um, a slippery elm lozenge in. Yes. Oh, I thought I got it. No, shh. I will. Shush. One ring toss, please. Here's your money. Yes. You, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up. Hook a target and win. Okay. Ring toss. Sounds fun. How do? More fun than a warehouse full of barley, my boy. Come. Ring toss. More fun how, than a how do I? Well, don't just stand there, Sonny. Give it a go. How do I give it a go? Well, don't just... Ring toss. Sounds fun. Oh, did I get a... All right. I'll figure this out. Oh, so close. What the... There's no way the ring could get around one of those. Care for another go? Okay. One ring toss, please. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Do I need another ring? Hmm. Test your might. Hmm. I wonder. That won't make it any wider. What? <laughs> hmm. Did I see something that had another ring? Oh, can I put it in with a snake? <laughs> that won't make it any wider. <laughs> hmm. Did I see something with a ring? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, let's try it again. Ring toss. Okay, well, let's... Oh, let's try it again. Oh, 
Oh, so close. Hmm. What the? There's no way the ring could care for another go. All right. One ring toss, please. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up, hook a target, and we. We must be able to swap the ring out with something, but what? Because it's just going to keep doing that. It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. Hmm. Oh, can we grab that one? Uh, okay, we'll give that to the woman. And I don't think there's anything. Yeah, so let's let's give that to the soothsayer and see what she says. Oh, Kelvin, you're so slow. Okay. I really like this style. I think it's really cool. Feels very like old time. Uh, will this work for a crystal ball replacement? Hey, thanks. This should work great. Let me repay the favor with a complimentary fort. Sweet. Complimentary as in free, right? That's the one. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, the shapes are indistinct. Your fate seems yet undecided. Wait, never mind. Somebody's definitely going to shoot. <laughs> Great! <laughs> are you serious? Awesome. Yep, it's right there in the ball. Whatever happened to divination is a mysterious <laughs> <laughs> Not really. This time it was mysteriously clear. Oh, yeah, really. Well, thanks. Thanks. I guess. Thanks. <laughs> Could you, why couldn't you give me a ring? Oh, huh. looks like I just missed the rainstorm. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Ring toss. Sounds fun. All right. All right, let's try it again. So what the? There's no way. Care for another go? All right. How do I? Hmm. What do I get if I win? Whoa! You bet your bottom. Well, that's One awesome. Ring toss, please. Here's your money. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up. Hook a target and win. Can I get his well, ring? Don't just stand there, Sonny. Hmm. Was there something in the lobby I could swap out, maybe? Let me see, because there's not anything out here, and there isn't anything in the alley. Um. Hmm. I can't take the flute. Put that back! Can I... Distract this guy with the rig? Am I supposed to be impressed? Nope. I guess not. Tickets are sold out, and they cost about a hundred times more than that. Well, you bugger. What am I supposed to do? All right, I'm at a loss now. I probably need that for the uh, snake. Hmm. Yeah, the helpily tells me. Because I've gotten all those hot spots. Oh. Or that's the one I took the. Oh, can I get the candle? I can get the candle. Hmm. What the hell was that? Hey, that's my definator six thousand. Hmm. Okay. Oh, was it a photograph? Hmm. Candle.
Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to use a candle in the lobby. Can you use it over here? Or is that that space for it? Yeah. All right. Let's see here. candle in your backpack. Okay. Um, can I get the hammer? Yeah. Alright. What am I going to do with a lit candle? Yep, it's uh, an emergency. Hmm. It's a shame. Can I use the coins with it? Okay. I'm a bit dense when it comes to these puzzles, so... Can I give him the gumball? Am I supposed to? Be? Yes, you are. Ticketed patrons only. Yeah, well, you bugger. <gasps> I wonder, can I combine the gumball with the? I'm not sure how those go together. No. Okay. I'm not sure how those go. Mm. Shit. Okay. What now? Can I? I didn't go back in time just to break stuff. Oh well, I don't know what else to do. Oh shit! I don't know. Can I use the hammer on that? No. All right. Well, fine. Jesus. Um. I'm not sure how those go together. Ah, you bugger. And I can't combine sure those. those hmm. Hmm. Oh, can I use the eye for the whack-a-mole? No, I'd rather not. No, it could be his eye. No, I'd rather. Oh, not. bugger. Oh, I could use a hammer on this, maybe. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get the hang of this, I swear. You're as weak as an inept researcher. <laughs> How convenient. Yep. Very convenient. Um Hmm. Is there any You're as weak as an inept guilty as charged. Okay, awesome. Alright. Now what? Ring toss. Sounds fun. More fun than a warehouse full of bars. All right. Well, let's try it again. I don't. Can I? I'm not sure how those go together. Well, I don't know either, <laughs> Kelvin. It's too bad I can't. Cause then, if I could get the gumball I'm on the sure ring, how those go together. We think I could get the ring to stick, but. Oh. What the? There's no way. Careful not. Hmm. I am stumped. Hmm. I. Yeah. Can I use the gumball in there? I'm not sure how those go together. Well, me either, Calvin. And ruin a perfectly good base? Sure. I don't know. Do I attack the dude? <laughs> the bouncer dude? Hmm. There's something I'm missing. And I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, I did all those. Hmm. I'll be back. Hmm. What do you want me to do with it? I don't know. I'm just trying shit. Don't grab drag, just I'll click. I'll be back. I'll be. Okay. Do I only have, am I only allowed four things? 
Damn it. <laughs> Can I set something on fire in here? Maybe? Um... Can I put the lit candle in? There's already enough light in here. Well, yep, it's a... okay. I use the gumball. Um, I don't think that will. Well, I don't know. Can I bash it uh, open? No, I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah, you probably would get thrown in a dungeon. I don't know. I'm not sure how those go to. I'm so lost. Ticketed patrons only. Thank you. Hmm. Impresario. Yes. Nice. <laughs> we know. Hmm. I don't understand. So that's why it's called the fifth. It's based on the fifth symphony. So, okay. I actually ended up just so we can move things, keep moving things along. Cause I was totally stumped there. I ended up <laughs> looking it up. <laughs> so apparently we can put the ring. The only thing I didn't flip and try. Oh, I got to go get another ring. Um, let's get another ring. But apparently I use, I open the ring up. On the steel cones. It's like the one thing I didn't try. Naturally. So let's put it on here. And then you use the hammer. To wind the ring. So let's. Yeah, do it. All right. My desire to create art has been trumped by my desire to pick up this comically oversized ring. <laughs> okay. So now we use this on the ring toss. And this should work. Yes. How the devil did you? You, you cheated me. You've been out cheated, you cheated. He's been cheating me. <laughs> now where's my prize? Fine. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so now we can go into here. I can't believe it. it was like the one thing I didn't do naturally. So let's use the symphony ticket. Read it and weep, cucumber face. Cucumber one face. Symphony ticket. <laughs> Where did you find this? It doesn't matter and you know it. Now let me through. Oh, very well. Yeah. Try not to ruin the entire performance with your blabbering. No promises. <laughs> Can I go in the cloakroom now? Those are some serious... Ple oh. Those are some... Please present your claim ticket. If you wish to retrieve your garment. No, I'm good. Uh, I better not. not yeah, probably. Okay. Let's go into the theater. What's up with the guy with the mohawk? It's a bunch of random papers. I'm not sure if any of them are useful. Okay. Spittoon. And I'm nauseous. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Okay, let's... Can we go over here? Oh, we cannot see a thing. Can we use... There's a lamp. Hey, we can see. Beg your pardon, sir. I didn't realize anyone else was in. Here. Nice. It's locked. Awesome. All right. Why would somebody make a ladder this short? That's it. Wait a minute. Gnomes must be real. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Kelvin. Uh -uh. No way. Am I picking that? Clowns up? are creepy. It's fair enough. A mask. I'm just gonna leave that up there. All right. If you say so. Okay. Can we take the lamp with us now? It's turned on. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I guess. Okay. Oh, there's a mop. Is this mop made of human hair? Yikes, I hope not. It sure is. Ew! Ew. <laughs> Why would it be made of human hair? Wealthy people. Excuse me. Have any of you seen... Lord... 
Hey, do you think you can help me convince the bouncer to let me into the bar next door? What? No way! That guy is <laughs> I bet you could take him. You're pretty intimidating. He has a mohawk. Hardly. I'm scared of almost everything. Bouncers, spiders, you name it. Those aren't in the same category, I think. Huh. I never really pictured this as headbanging music. Mm. You kidding? This dude is shredding <laughs> right now! He is shredding. Why the blood doubles of torment! <laughs> who? Yeah, who is this, who is guy? this guy? Anyway, seriously, dude, that's Matthew Churchill, but most people call him the Phoenix of Might. Okay. By most people? Do you mean just probably? Much, yeah. The Phoenix shall rise. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Keep it brutal until the bone worm takes oh, us. Oh lordy. Oh, it's just one guy. I thought there were going to be tubas and stuff. Nope. Well, I don't want to go back to the lobby. No time for music. I'm a man on a mission. Okay. Hmm. Oh, purse. Is this made of green leather? Weird. Anyway, it looks like there's a piece of paper sitting at the top. Can we grab it? Somebody will. Yeah, so I was wondering. Try to grab anything out of it. Yeah, well, what if we use our things? I'm not sure how those go okay. together. Okay. Uh, what if we did this? I don't think that will. Work. Well, you're just raining on my parade. I'm not sure how those go together. Hmm. Damn it. I'm not sure how those go together. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's a bunch of random papers. And I got everything that was in here. No need. I'm okay. Dummy. Beg your pardon, sir. I didn't realize. Can we put the hair on the dummy? I think he's doing all right with the queen. <laughs> okay, I guess not. <laughs> the voice acting in this is like A plus, by the way. <laughs> huh. Okay. I mean, do we head back in the lobby? Because we need clothes. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Keep it brutal. Okay. I wonder how we... Oh, so we need to get that ticket, because that's a cloakroom. I wonder how we do that. Sure how those go yeah, I'm not either. Nice. I like the hook em horns there. I'm not sure how those go together. Hmm. I'm not sure how those go together. So we gotta get the th the ticket out of the purse. Hmm. I'm not sure how those go together. All right. I think I might need a minute to try and figure this out. So now I'm back. Okay. So let's go to the lobby now. Hmm. Okay, well maybe we can swap the slotted stick with the flute. What are you doing over there? Oh, uh, me? Uh, just admiring some fine musical craftsmanship. I've got my eye on you. You should. I just frickin' stole a flute. Okay. So we got the flu, now we can use it on the cobra. Though we'll have a stake in our backpack, and that probably won't be good. So considering the other guy got bitten. <laughs> I love the recorder noise. Can we grab the snake? Where's my mouse? This cobra knows good music when he hears it. Uh, okay. I am not a smart man. No, you're not. Uh oh. Kelvin, are you there? What's your status? My status? Uh, it's, uh, good. <laughs> Great. What progress have you made? Well, earlier I won a rigged carnival game, and just now I put a cobra in my backpack. Oh, you Lord. You're a smart ass, Kelvin. I'm not. <laughs> wow, that's. Well, yeah, it is. Kelvin, please stop handling venomous. 
I'm on it. Too busy. Got Cobra in backpack. <laughs> so we could probably use the Cobra to scare the people. Because I'm assuming that's a clothing ticket at the top of that woman's purse. But so does that mean we're going to dress up like a woman? <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. But we could probably use the, the snake on them. Hi. We're going to use on you. Oh, there we go. There it is. Ah, she faded. And everybody's cool. <laughs> everybody's cool with it. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now, if we use that with him, maybe we can get some clothes. I don't recall you checking any garments. Sounds like somebody's got a fuzzy memory. <laughs> Have oh. a pleasant evening. Okay. Sweet. He just gave us a top hat, though. What the hell? What are we supposed to do with that? With just a top hat? Let's see. Oh, and a monocle. This is super classy. Uh, well. Oh, do I need to? Behold, the perfect snooty disguise. <laughs> that was it. Okay, so now. And he transforms. Boom. Just call me Lord Kelvin. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, no, go away. Hi, bouncer dude. Good evening, smelly door person. I am filthy sausage mogul Abraham von Froman, and I demand admittance into this cosmopolitan beer hall. Good evening, Herr Froman. Please come right in. He's so. I've seen you here before, Herr Froman. Nope, nope, nope. What? No. My mistake. <laughs> like, just go in. <laughs> yes, we're in the bar. <laughs> that was definitely it is. Oh, wow. I'm so glad you've prioritized drinking over the impending doom of the universe. Two birds with one stone, Lise. <laughs> I have it on semi-decent authority that Beethoven is somewhere in this bar right now. Well, hurry up and get him back on track. The system's detected another temporal disturbance. Lupin's still at it. Oh, great. You count on Abraham von Froman. Who is that? It's me. I invented a brilliant pseudonym to complete the <sighs> disguise. Okay. Uh, whatever works, Calvin. <laughs> that poor chick. Hello, friend. Take a seat and try your luck against the reigning, reigning champion. Uh, arm wrestle that jack dude? No chance. <laughs> oh, contraire, mon ami. No, no, no. Not arm wrestle. Pop shaker. Uh, Brock prep. Oh. Rock. Uh oh. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors, yeah. Yes, that one. Uh, that is the one right there in the middle. What do I get if I win? <laughs> you get the most best prize. The best is. Beer. All right. Oh hell yeah. Let's do this. Of course, Kelvin would be into it. Uh, let's do rock. Damn it. Uh, let's do rock again. Yeah. Uh, let's do scissors. What the hell is that? That, lo that was like a gun. Did you just? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe this is what that fortune teller was talking about. Ah, looks like someone's never played played tournament rules before. She was right. You studied up, kiddo. Okay. She was right. I got shot. Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Um, I don't know if I should have anything. Now. I am at okay. Maybe we should check out everything else before we get drunk. Oh, he looks what shady. You have <coughs> Shuffler. Hmm. Could I borrow your cards? Cards. What is what is a muskox without his musk? <laughs> what is the barrel salesman without his mini barrel? I don't know. All right, all right, I got it. Okay. 
Ooh, can I show you a magic trick? The shuffler does not deign to engage in petty trickery, magical or otherwise. <laughs> or otherwise. The practitioner of an art. You would do well to respect it. <sighs> Kids these days. Looks like somebody needs a drink refill. The shuffler is awed by your observational prowess. Yeah. If I bring you a drink, will you let me borrow your cards for a few minutes? The shuffler is not one to make promises, hmm. but hmm. perhaps. So we need his cards. Uh, all right. So can the we? Will... The <laughs> all right. Well, let's go get him a drink then. Welcome, sir. Give me the strongest thing yeah, let's let's just I'll ask you, sir. I'm afraid that particular drink. Whoa, how come? The last few patrons to order it experienced some ill effects. What, like a stomachache? They imploded. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take a needlessly elaborate cocktail. Outstanding choice, sir. I'll prepare you my signature drink, the Ardalan Samimi. The September issue of Snobbery describes it as. Acerbic yet plummy with mm. subtle hints of lavender and Turn beef. beef? Like this. Mm. Baller. <laughs> baller. <laughs> it does sound baller. Alright. So let's go give it to this dude. Okay. At least we don't have a snake in our pack anymore. Did you have business with the shuffler? What? I just gave you a drink. You said you'd let me borrow your cards. Yeah. The shuffler recalls no such drink. <laughs> and no such bargain. Jerk. You must remember, sir. You. Yeah. You rat bastard. Okay. Fine. Nice. Looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please. You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with- Now come on, bro! Uh, what? A broast, bro? Sure! Let me go grab a mug! So, yeah, bro! Alright, well, let's go get a beer. I don't know what's happening. That shuffler dude ticks Welcome, me off. Sir. What can I get you? Oh, I just want a beer. Beer me, barkeep? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We only have- And it's reserved for the winner of the- One beer? Oh, yeah, for flip's sake. I'm, I am at- Okay, so I've got to win this fucking... <sighs> Alright. Ah, bugger. Okay. If I do rock and eat his... How... <laughs> How... How... Huh, okay. Can I use a hammer? I'm not sure how those go together. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure either. Okay. I guess we need something for that. But I don't know what it is. Oh, there's Beethoven! Advertisements used to be so subtle. <laughs> yep. Nah, knowing my luck, I'd hit Beethoven and then the world even faster. Probably. How the heck did you get in here? You don't meet the dress code at all. Easy. I've been in here since before they had one. Yeah, of course. When did they start? I don't know. Four years ago? Alright, so a long time. Or a legend. Hmm. Cheers to that, brother. Alright. Let's talk. Excuse me, sir. Are you Ludwig van Beethoven? Uh, sir? Uh, Ludwig? Sir, are you Beethoven? Uh, who are you? What's the places do you want? <laughs> That's right, he's deaf. I am here to help you write your next symphony. <laughs> there will be no next symphony. Oh, no. Why not? You're so good. Perhaps you failed to notice, but I can barely hear a sing. I did notice. When did <laughs> that happen? Hours ago. I was accosted by a wild-eyed shrub of a man. Yeah. From some infernal horn. He flooded mine ears with a terrible screeching tone. Now, That's right, we have the photograph of that. I hear clearly is that of this damned mug striking the table as I drink my misery away. Hmm. How about this? I'll 
start a melody, and you can just run with it. <laughs> Sonic mayhem. Mayhem intensifies. Seriously, I was still getting words. <laughs> that was good. Oh. I'll just continue yelling. This <laughs> this is no music. It's a poem to help me soothe my pain and soul. Can I hear what you've got so far? I close my eyes and scream. It does not reach my ear. Yikes. Music is like a dream. One that I cannot hear. Yikes. Maybe stick to mm, instrumentals. It's been dark. I said that's real. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what can we do to help him? No, I'd rather not. Okay. Um. Nah, knowing my... Is there anything else I can hit on? Oh, I can hit on. Ha! Click on. I better be careful with these. I'm pretty allergic. Not to mention they've been here longer than I have. Ew. Okay, so what can we use the peanuts on? I wonder. She wonders to herself. Can we use them on him? The Kelvin with the shuffle. And let's see. I think he's salty. Yeah, he probably is. Can I use the I'm hammer? Sure no. Nope. Hmm. I wouldn't eat those if I were you. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're older, older, older than I am. Awesome. Can I possibly win one of these? Hmm. I was wondering what RPS stood for. Okay, so I'm always going to get the first one wrong. He did scissors. So I'm going to do paper again. So I always get the second one right. Can I? And I can't use my inventory during this, so... Let's do rock. It's that last one. Screw you guys. Hmm. Yeah, is there anything else I can click on? Hmm. Shit. I'm kind of at an impasse. Again. Hmm. Can you use them on these guys? No, I'd rather not. Hmm. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna leave it here because I'm. I've been recording for a while, and I think I need to. There's things that I'm missing, the connections I'm not making. So I'm gonna step away from this, and um, yeah, we'll leave it here. And if you'd like to see me play more of it, um, just let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, click the bell if you'd like to get notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.